How's it going guys? I'm your host Cardman Gaming. Welcome back to another very special Adventure Quest video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a free to play way of beating the Frostwell 2022 gift delivery war finale boss which is the Heartbeat Oven. Now I mistakenly thought I already done a video on this but apparently I haven't done a free to play showcase video yet and uh, some of you guys actually wanted to see this even though I thought this was a pretty simple boss but nonetheless because you guys requested for it so here you guys go. Okay so for the stat build that I'm running here it, I will be running my current stat build that I'm using which is 250 dexterity, 250 intellect and 250 luck. You don't have to follow this exact stat build because with this strategy you can also do it as a warrior and I know a lot of returning players out there right now they are currently playing a warrior build so a warrior build will work just fine with this strategy as well. So so let's look at the boss first. The boss has 92, 92, 82 for MRM defense, which means it's going to be slightly easier to hit it with magic attacks. So if you're a mage, then this might be slightly easier for you. If you're a mage, you can use a slightly different variation of this strategy. Instead of nuking with whatever I'm nuking with, later on you can just change it out for Fireball Z. And Fireball Z will probably work slightly better, but because most of you guys aren't mages like me, uh, I think it'll be better if I showcase this using a non-mage method. Okay, so yeah, soft damage cap of 520, claw back of 0.75, boss boost plus 20. And you can see his resistances here. Weak to ice at 150%, water and wind at 125%, neutral to light and darkness at 100%, 75% to earth and energy, and fire is at 50%. It also, interestingly enough, doesn't have freedom, so you can try and stun it, but I think there's some effects or something like that. I'm not entirely shy because I can't remember. So for the armor, your one Torontosaurus Rex, this is what we'll be nuking with. For the pets, you can use any pet, honestly, but I'm going to be using a healing pet here, which is Fairy Godmother to heal my HP, and look at this. I have zero charisma right now, guys, but you don't really need a whole lot of charisma for this. For shields, you can use any fire shield, if I'm being honest, but... In my opinion, I think Titan's Fall works best here because this guy, he misses quite a lot and every time you dodge or block an attack, Titan's Fall will deal harm damage to the enemy and this is actually good for getting a bit of bonus damage because this guy does have some uh, pretty strong regenerate. Okay, so we are going to turn on the shield and let's get this started. Weapons, you can honestly use any weapon, so I'm just going to stick with the Spear of all. Let's hope that the... No, let's use a zero proc weapon, okay? So let's just use this because it doesn't have a proc. Alright, for the items, you'll need Essence Orb, you'll need Shadow Feeder Pendant, and then you'll need Amulet of Draconan G. Okay, so Shadow Feeder Pendant, let's try and get as many turns as we can first. Okay, 3 rounds, uh, let's try and play Essence Orb. Let's try and get a few more extra rounds. I don't know how many rounds we'll need. Uh, let's see how lucky we get with the uh, Elemental Scramble later on, okay? So to start things off, you want to try and get as many rounds as you can with your Shadow Feeder Pendant first because this guy is regenerate so yeah, you need to out damage his healing a lot otherwise, this is going to be a pretty slow battle, okay? So let's do Shadow Feeder Pendant again, spam it but your life depends on it, 5 rounds uh, we can work with 5 rounds first, yep, I guess you can do that So to start things off, Rainbow Ray Gun, this is another key piece of equipment that you need uh, for me, I'm going to switch this to magic mode because the magic defense is lower and because I also have intellect train for this build. If you do not have intellect train and you only have dexterity train or you only have strength train, then it doesn't really matter what build you use. But this only comes in magic and range form. So uh, warriors might not be that great, but uh, I think you can still hit this guy and scramble the resistances quite re reliably even if you don't have dexterity or intellect train. Just that if you have it trained, it will be better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, and every time you want to scramble, you have to remember to click on it to toggle the scramble mode. Otherwise, it doesn't scramble. And the last piece of the puzzle is Amulet of Draconan. G73 SP to use per turn. A little bit expensive considering you need to spam the basket breath skill as well. But with your HP healing pet and with this providing minus 10% resist, uh, fire resist, to bring your fire resistance down to 3%, you shouldn't really be taking any damage at all from this guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack first. Let's hope we get lucky. 125 to fire, you know what, that's great, we can work with that, so I'm going to switch to a zero proc weapon, so it, uh, the special proccing doesn't get in the way, you can use any weapon here, it honestly doesn't matter, I'm just going to use the Gloom Glaive because it's zero proc, and I'll bring out Essence Orb here, so we can spam the skill, okay, so do a little bit more Essence Proc, uh, Essence Orb, I am using the level 5 Essence Orb, if you don't like it, you can use the level 150 one to save yourself some clicks, 
Uh, the level 5 one is just more efficient, that was why I chose to use it. But I'm sure the level 150 one will work here as well. So I have a lot of Draconan G and you can see here now my fire resistance is 3%. Yep, safe to say this guy won't be touching me at all. So let's do Basket Breath 340 as well. Okay, look at that. That's some pretty decent damage. Okay, and we get to heal back a little bit of our HP here. Yep, this guy is doing literally no damage at all. Alright, so now... Uh, we will do Essence Up again to get back some SP so we, that we can keep on spamming that attack. Right, so we need 390 SP per spam so we'll need a total of 780. More than 780 because we also need to upkeep our shield as well as upkeep our miscellaneous items. So let's try and aim for 1000 plus SP. I think that'll be good. So uh, you don't have to use Amulet here or any... If you have any boosters, uh, boosting spells whatnot. You can cast them right now, or if there are any boosting misses, you can cast them right now. Use them right now while you're before you spend the skill. But I am trying to showcase this with as little uh, equipment needed as possible, so I'm not going to use it. Okay, nice. And then let's bring out amulet. Nice. Here again, good. Okay, he's landing most of his hits. That's not great for us, but you know what? Never mind. So let's go ahead and restore our SP. It's only 340, so yeah, I, I thought it was 390. Okay. 800 plus SP should be enough. Oh, overdid it there a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Oh, never mind. Save the SP and not use that. Uh, basket breath. Only use it on the second turn because only on the second turn will we get hit with attack. Lucky heal, nice. And he can regenerate about 1000 plus but that's fine with us. Not really such a big deal. So now we want to regenerate some SP of our own as well. Thing. We don't need that on the first turn. Okay. Basket breath. Nice. Basket breath again. There we are. You shouldn't need a health pot, I think, but uh you know, just in case, you might want to bring one or two. I, I don't really think you need it. Let's see, we still have one more turn of celerity, but I think we'll need a few more turns. Yep. If you manage to get 150 for the fire, it'll be even better. Or we get in a few lucky strikes. Uh, that will speed things up a lot, but I didn't manage to get any of those. So it's not exactly very good luck here, but you don't need very good luck to beat this guy. This is quite a consistent strategy. So let's spam basket very Nice. I mean, let spam it one more time. Very close. 1.8k health left. Ah, there's a dodge there and 424. Very nice. Okay, so right now, I think we can just. Okay, we are out of celebrity stacks. If you manage to get luckier than me and get more than 5 turns, that's good for you. But I didn't, so I will have to try for Shadow Feeder Pendant again. I succeed? No, I don't. I might need to heal up. Let me consider. Yeah, I think I'll need to heal up. So let's try to get an extra turn and then we'll heal up first. Okay, nice. We got an extra turn. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this off and then I'll just heal up first. Okay. And then for the second turn, get more SP. And bring out the amulet. And we can spam the SP attack. Okay, 1193. Oh! Oh! We didn't bring enough SP, that's why. For the amulet, my bad. Yeah, I gotta have to bring more SP for the amulet. Oopsies. So his HP overall is still going down, so yeah, we're still in a good spot. Shadow Feeder. Okay. Drink a HP pot. And 
Texans Orb. Okay, we want to do about 500 plus SP, so we have the amulet up. Otherwise, yeah, if the amulet isn't up, then we'll be eating a ton of damage. Basket breath. Okay, 775 left. Okay, EV generates a little bit. Shadow Feeder Pendant, come on, one more round, let's go. Okay, nice, we got one more round. And I think we can just spam all the way. Yep, I think two more hits of that ought to kill him. So I'll take this away and then I'll do Basket Breath, one. One more time, ought to be dead. But just in case, we'll make sure we bring enough SP for two rounds of the amulet. Okay, so that we don't die. But that should be enough. Basket bread. There we go. Easy peasy. Don't even need a health pot, guys. That is how you beat the hard big oven. Okay, so you can use this as a ranger. You can use this as a warrior. This will work if you're a mage. You can also use this. But uh, for mages, I recommend Fireball Z. That will probably work slightly better. And yeah, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.